G'day, Ben here from on3legs.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new product that's just been released by Topaz Labs. If you've been following my photo journey for a little while, you'll know that I love the Topaz uh, plugins for Photoshop. And I'm one of these photographers that thinks it's great to post-process your photos. In fact, reality is most photographers have been for a long time. And I know you see sometimes people kicking up a stink about post-processing photos online. Uh, but everybody does it. I mean, reality is a raw file out of your camera is never going to be as good as what you can t when you can tweak something in Photoshop. Now, Topaz uh, released a brand new plugin uh, this month, which is called Topaz Impression. Now. Normally, I would steer clear of one of these arty farty type uh, plugins because it is one of those plugins that's a little bit arty farty, and uh, it's not always been my my favourite type of thing. Uh, but I've got to say, I was fairly impressed. Pardon the pun with Topaz Impression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take you through, take you through, sorry, uh, what it does. Um, I'm going to show you what's on my screen, and we're going to go through some of the presets, and we're going to have a look at how much you can adjust things inside Topaz Impression. And at the end of the video, I'll also uh, give you a coupon code that you can use to get a discount off of the software if you decide that you wanted to buy it for yourself as well. So uh, let's have a look. So I've opened up a picture. That, this is a picture that I took of uh, the Remarkables in Queenstown. So that's the Remarkables mountain range there at sunrise. I managed to find myself a sneaky little spot uh, that you could sort of only access through. Someone had broken a fence and I drove the, the high car off-road, which is a big no-no. Um, but I got to this beautiful spot and as you can see, the, uh, the sun was rising, the clouds were colouring up and just love it. And uh, this photo is, if you're wondering, it is HDR. So uh, it is already HDR. What I always do before I, uh, before I process any photo is I make a, a copy of it. And the way to do that is just Command J, or Control J, depending on your uh, um, on your whether you're on PC or Mac. So Command J or Control J. So Command J on a Mac. And what that does is it makes a separate layer. Uh, so it's like your backup. So if you do screw anything up, then you've got your backup. The other good thing about this is you can lay a mask in just parts of the image if you just want to enhance some of it. Um, but I'm going to show you what the plugin does to the entire image. So if I just go to Filter, I'm going to go to Topaz Labs, and I'm going to open up Impression. And uh, what I've done is I've just left it so it's it's like it would be if you just got it. Um, I haven't gone crazy and dismissed these welcome messages yet, but as you can see on startup, it comes up with uh, welcome to Topaz Impression. Uh, get to know it and take the tour, which is quite handy. I'll just close that. But as you can see, what Topaz Impression does is it makes your pictures look like an artist's, like a charcoal, a painting, a, a pencil drawing. And I'm going to... Um, Let's just choose pencil for a second, and we'll just grab a, a pencil drawing. So you can see it looks like a pencil drawing. It's really amazing. Now, if you click on these slider things, so you see in the middle of the, the thumbnail on the right, you can click on that, and it brings up all the different things that you can adjust. So you can adjust brush size, and you can see, I mean, that looks, you, you can really get uh, the whole thing to look quite unique, and you have really a lot of... Um, adjustments at your fingertips that you can change. So you can see um, it's quite, there's quite a lot you can do. Uh, if I go back to the presets, you know, it's got different presets for each one. So you can see as I go through them that, you know, and it does, it actually does, I think it's so realistic, it, it amazes me. It does actually look like that it was done with pencil. Uh, what else have we got? So you can go like impressionistic. And, you know, once again, a whole bunch of different choices. Now, it might not be your thing, and that's okay, but I actually think some of this would be really nice printed up and framed. And to say that it was your photo, um, to me, you know, once again, you can adjust things. So you can increase the brush size, reduce the brush size, uh, the paint volume, you know, reduce it, paint opacity. You can change everything. I've made it so you can change pretty much. I mean, you see this one here, you can choose different types of brushes. So it's really quite, uh, quite clever. Uh, what else have we got there? Um, let's have a look. Modern. Let's go with modern. You know, abstract. Um, urban street. <laughs> Don't know if I like that one. Once again, though, you know, this is all about personal preference, isn't it? And you can change things and make it look however you want. 
Um, what else we got there? Some of them, the ones that I really like are the pencil ones, and I quite like these painting ones as well. I think they're quite clever. Uh, the other ones that I think are quite clever too are the uh, there's a there's a, some that are in here that are charcoal. So if you want that black and white charcoal effect, it does looks like sort of someone's done a chalk charcoal drawing. But you can see here this is the you know once again this is the uh, this is the painting ones that I'm in now. So you can just pick a different preset, and they all do sort of different things like an oil painting. Look at that, I just love it. So you know, and, and the thing that I like about it most is how much adjustment you can make. So you can really go through and adjust it so it looks how you want it to look. Get it looking nice and smooth. You can change things like the stroke width so it doesn't have to look so heavy. Um, you know, it's quite a, a, a good plug-in. And uh, it's, it's, you know, this is one of those things that, uh, there's a watercolor one, this is one of those things that I think, you know, from an effects point of view, a lot of other plug-ins struggle. Uh, but this one does uh, quite good. I'll go to charcoal as well. Let's have a look at charcoal. Just so you can get a feel for it. So there's a charcoal one. Different, uh, you know, and once again with Topaz, which, which one of the things I love about uh, Topaz is that they always have a lot of presets you can start with and then you can sort of uh, mess around with them from there. And um, then they've got some pastel ones, so it's more like, um, you know, maybe crayon or something, pastels, I guess. And same thing, you know, you can just do all these adjustments. And it's, uh, I mean, if I show you, I was just showing you the brush size and things. If you go down, you can change colour, the hue, the lighting, the texture. Um, there's just so many things you can change. And that, uh, you know, everything you're in. So let's go into a charcoal one, you'll see, same thing. Um, all of those different things, you know, and it changes depending on, um, so that one allows you to, to change the paper type in the background, you know, so you can change the background texture. Um, so there you go, you can sort of get a bit of an idea. I'd have to say my favourite is the pencil. I mean, there's just so many in here. Ancient cave dweller. Crikey. Crikey, crikey. I'm going to go back to pencil. I really like the pencil one. I'm going to do a pencil one. And this coloured pencil one. There we go. And then uh, you can sort of pick what type of pencil. So it really is um, very clever. I've got to say I'm very impressed with... Uh, you know, Topaz Labs just continually impress me. I think um, you'd be hard pressed to find another company. I mean, I know Nick Effects make a lot of effects as well, and I use those as well. I do love them as well. But uh, as you can see, that's Topaz Impression. Now, if you want to get uh, Topaz Impression, if you've liked what you've seen here today, uh, you can jump on my website, and you'll see there's a link. They'll also put a link in the in the show notes below this video, so you can sort of click on that. It'll take you to their website. You can use the coupon code on three legs. That's with the number three. Uh, once again, that's showing up on the screen right now. So on three legs, uh, put that in, and you'll get fifteen percent off. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but it's better than a poke in the eye with a tripod leg. So hopefully that's helped you understand what Topaz Impression is and how it works. And uh, hopefully you're impre as impressed as I am. If you want to create artworks out of your photos, this is a great way to do it. Yeah.